I'm a rep on Cloud9 and today I'll be doing an RPG Maker VXA tutorial on speech. Speech is the foundation of any RPG because without speech there's no plotline. Oh, and I've never encountered a silent game either. Okay, so to start off with, go onto event mode and click on an event. Then you're going to need to find the at symbol and then click anywhere along that bar. And that will load up event commands. Under the first tab and message column, click on show text. This is where you're going to be able to input whatever your character or object is going to say, so it's quite important and is commonly used in RPG Maker. Under face graphic, make sure you find a face that is suitable for the character. Um, I think the elf lady. And she's going to ask my player a question. Okay. She'll say, Hi there. How are you doing? Now what we're going to do is allow the player to answer with three multiple choices that basically span the possible answers. Okay, underneath show text, just like before, you click on show choices and then you have the option to enter four or a maximum of four possibilities. I'm just going to do a positive, an average and a negative reply. The positive one will be I'm feeling great, thanks. Then the I'm alright kind of answer will be I'm alright. Ellipsis. And choice three will be when you feel absolutely terrible. Or probably I'm feeling terrible. And then press OK. And now your character has the option to pick either I'm great, thanks, I'm alright, or I'm feeling terrible. And when they do pick, they're going to want a reply back from the elf lady. So once you say I'm feeling great, thanks, you're going to go, Oh, well that's wonderful news. Because that is really. And I'm alright, she's going to say, she says oh a lot by the way. Oh, well... Do try to cheer up. And then when you say, I'm feeling terrible, she's going to go, Oh, you poor soul. Okay, now we've sorted out the first bit of speech and a question. I'm just going to show you some other really quick things in, under the message column that you can actually include in your RPG. Input number, that can be if you've got a locked door or a chest or anything that requires a code. I've used this a lot of times in RPG Maker and it's it's a really good feature. Now select key item. To be honest, I've never encountered that and I've never felt the need to use it in any of my RPGs. And seeing as this is a basics tutorial, I'm going to leave it out. But if you would like me to include any more information about select key item, then just leave me a comment in the box below. Show scrolling text. I've used this in every single one of my games as an introduction because no matter how long your script is, or the text is, it will keep scrolling up the page. It's really good for introductions, especially when someone has a very long story or flashbacks, and it's really good for setting the scene, characters, and history of the game. Okay, what we're going to do now is go back on some of the text we've already inputted like the first one, and naturally you'll notice when I'm speaking I take breaks every so often, usually after where a comma would be or a full stop, and that doesn't change for your RPGs, because once you have an exclamation mark, a comma or a full stop, you can put backslash, full stop, and what that does is that it inputs a quarter of a second pause, it won't show it in the text, but now it will come up as, hi there, how are you doing, instead of hi there, how are you doing? which might not be as effective. So you just add that in after every comma and full stop. You won't put them at the end of the sentence though because or you don't do that in real life either if you've got nothing else to say. Okay now on to oh you poor soul. You'll notice there's no need to put a backslash full stop. So what we're going to do is well, that writing looks a bit small at the minute, so what we're going to do is enlarge it. So you do the same backslash as before, but then you do this symbol. 
If any of you guys know the name of that symbol, I'd, I would really be interested to know, because at the minute, I'm just going to call it a bracket. Okay, and you can see that makes it bigger. And the bigger you want it to be, the more times you'll do that. And there you go. It also works in reverse. You can do the backslash smaller. And there you go. But because she's exclaiming there, she's probably going to say it about that big. Okay, now, what we're going to do is another really cool feature from RPG Maker. It's called Name Input Processing. Now, if you go into the third tab under Scene Control, go into Name Input Processing, and then you pick your actor. You see, I've already cleared the name on number one. That's because when you input a name, you're not going to want a name already set. It's nice to give the character a bit more freedom in the game. And um, max characters, I'd recommend... Uh, probably 8 maximum because otherwise it can get a bit confusing. Okay, but you're not just going to tell her your name. I think it would be best if she's going to ask you say notice the quarter of a second pause what's your name? Then once you've inputted your name this is where the really cool stuff happens. She can go, wow, comma, that be. And here's a formula that inputs whatever name you just put in, even if it's random letters, it's backslash n, another bracket thing I don't know the name of, <laughs> I really need to research this, and one, which is the character number, then obviously close the thingy. So now, it won't show it on here, but it will say, wow, the name you just inputted. So she'll go, wow, name you just inputted. That's a wonderful name. Okay, um, as you'll see, it'll leave the gap. And now what we're going to do is change the colour of the word. So what we can do for this is a relatively simple formula. It's backslash C, bracket thing, and then you can go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it will change the colour. I'll include a list of the actual colours you can use in the description, but if you want to tell me any that you think I might not have discovered yet, then by all means, do leave a comment in the box below. Okay, so I think she's going to say it in red, because I know that backslash 2 or C2 will, have that, will turn the writing red. And after you've done the word, you always need to return it back to zero, because zero is the natural text colour. There you go. So it says that's a wonderful name. And now, all there's left to do here is, first of all, put a graphic on this lady. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Let's put her as this. Put her here, and start up your game. Let's test this out. And of course it's going to stop working. Here we go. Okay, so here you are walking around. Animated water, by the way. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, hi there. How are you doing? Well... At the minute, I'm feeling alright because I just woke up, so I'm going to say I'm alright. And she'll say, oh, and you notice the quarter of a second pause, we'll try to cheer up. So, what's your name? Hmm, I wonder if this has enough letters. I think it will have enough letters, actually. There you go. Wow, YouTube. That's a wonderful name. And there you go. So that's all I've got time for in this RPG Maker VXA speech tutorial. But if you have any other requests for tutorials, or anything I've missed, skipped over, anything you want me to explain a bit more, please leave a comment in the box below. Subscribe, like, do anything to show that you like this video, if you did, or if you want to make me really happy. So that's all from me, guys. Bye!